Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Rick and I am here with a birthday haul. That is right, last month in October, the middle of the month, I celebrated my birthday. I'm not going to talk about how old I am, but I am getting up there. And uh, I got a few pretty cool things that I want to show you guys. There was also a Target buy two, get one free sale. And I know a lot of people ordered online and kept asking me if I was getting anything and there just wasn't anything or enough things in a similar price range online that I felt the need to order or wanted to order. Um, but I was in store, two things really caught my eye. I found a third thing that I probably didn't need, but it was free. So I went for it. Um, and then I want to show something I actually just picked up yesterday and I bought this with birthday money. So that's why I'm showing it in this video. I'm very excited about playing this, um, at some point as I love the show, but there's a thing that came out, um, called family feud blockbuster movie edition. And I am super excited about playing this. Um, as you guys know, myself and my girlfriend, Bridget, both love movies. We love trivia, we love games. So we grab this uh, and it looks like it is gonna be so much fun. I am genuinely so excited about playing this. Shows some sample questions here and you, you answer and there might be eight answers, there might be four answers. So there's, there's face off, there's fast money, there's all sorts of stuff, all themed to movies. So I went ahead and grabbed this Definitely looking forward to playing this. I think it'll be a really fun time. And yes, I wanted to show that. So it was like 20 bucks at Walmart. Um, so yeah, I grabbed it. I have games right here. Like you guys can't see our game collection, but we have a movie trivia game, Trivial Pursuit SNL edition, 90s Trivial Pursuit, comedy movie, seen it, uh, Hollywood game night, Classic scene it, movie trivia, uh, catchphrase category. So yeah, we're big board game people. We enjoy playing board games. So had to get a movie Family Feud because we love watching Family Feud. So, all right, <clears throat> Target, the bag. I even kept my receipt because I bought this a while ago. Um, we're gonna keep the bag over here. So what did I pay? I paid $28 and 75 cents. Um, no, I paid less than that because I bought two things. I paid like 25 bucks for this because I also bought pop tarts and uh, it looks like tortilla chips. So yeah, I bought this the week of my birthday. So about two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago. Um, figure I spent $25 on these three things. The first thing I got, uh, as many of you guys know, I've been showing music more often lately because you guys seem to enjoy that and you're curious about what I listen to or what I pick up. And uh, I loved the first album of this. And when I saw they put out a second album, definitely wanted to grab it because there's a few of their newer songs that weren't out on the first album that are on this. And that is Metallica s and 2. If you guys don't know what SNM is, it is basically Metallica and the San Francisco Orchestra. This is a two disc, let's make sure this is PG. It's a two disc CD set. Um, they actually showed this in movie theaters that were open. There's a big book here that has all sorts of like photos. Uh, but yeah, they did a concert of this probably back in the early 2000s, which was awesome. Um, I'm not even the biggest Metallica fan. I definitely appreciate them and enjoy a good chunk of their music. Um, but the S&M album was really good. So I grabbed S&M too. It's open because I actually just brought it in from my car because I was listening to it. It sounds really good. There's a lot of instrumental stuff, which is, it's good, but not exactly why I listen to Metallica, but hey, can't complain. The next title is the one that I kind of just splurged on. I ended up buying, even though I really didn't need it because I have this movie on Criterion. Uh, so I got this because I'm a sucker for a cool steel book. And this is a cool steel book of a movie that I love and it is The Breakfast Club. 
Uh, it's cool. The locker here is embossed, so it kind of sticks out. And then it, it has the frame out of the locker. So this is the 35th anniversary Steelbook, uh, which I believe was initially a, was it a 4K? No, it was a Blu-ray Steelbook at um, Best Buy. But for some reason, Target's been getting Best Buy's old 4K Steelbooks and turning them into Blu-ray Steelbooks. It's a, it's a whole crazy thing. But I grabbed this. This was the title that I kind of just decided I needed a third title in a similar price point. So I grabbed this. And then the last thing, the thing I was most excited about because I had missed out on it um, when Best Buy had it on sale for a while ago and I only owned one of these movies on 4K, even though I own them on Blu-ray multiple times because of different steelbooks, wanted to have them both on 4K. So now I do. And that is the Kingsman 2 movie collection in this box. It's not like a hard box, but a cardboard box and the movies are individual in there. If you can see... So yeah, so I grabbed that. Like I said, I paid $25 for all three things, which is an awesome deal with my red card and the buy two, get one free discount. I don't know why I put stuff on this table because it shakes the camera. Uh, and now let's talk about what I got from my, for my birthday um, from RJ and from Bridget. Um, the first thing, the first couple things I'm going to show are from Bridget, then RJ thing, and then another Bridget thing. So the first thing here was awesome. Uh, I get for pop fans or non-pop fans, you might want to fast forward a minute if you're not a pop fan, but I'll make it quick. I do not own a Kevin Smith pop in my collection at all. Um, and Bridget knew that, and this is awesome because this is in it. Uh, 2020 summer convention exclusive and uh, as some of you guys know I was a fan of this movie and uh, it's really cool it is Iron Bob so if you guys have seen Jane Silent Bob reboot you'll know what Iron Bob is in reference to but it is a Iron Bob Jane Silent Bob reboot pop figure uh, there's a lot of cool little things. He has a mall parking sign on his one arm, which is a reference to mall rats. And uh, yeah, I love this pop. Thank you to Bridget for getting it to me. It's going to go, it's probably going to go over there. I've made some room for a few pops over there. So it'll go over there. We got Iron Bob. And then the next thing, it's not really a flashy thing to show you guys, but it is very practical. And exciting for um, for many reasons, but as you guys know, uh, you saw that Breakfast Club thing. I am a Steelbook fan. Um, you guys see my La La Land Steelbook there, and there will be other Steelbooks on display in the near future once I get them in these awesome Steelbook protectors. Uh, as you guys know, I have turkey bags, or I think you know, I have turkey bags that I put all my Steelbooks in. But there are some steelbooks that I feel like should be protected a little better. My La La Land Mantelab, uh, my Rad 4K Vinegar Syndrome, which isn't a steelbook, but is a collectible piece. Uh, like I said, some stuff coming up in future videos as a tease. Um, and Bridget must have known that because I was probably talking about it. And she got me two packs of, what are these, Malco protectors and guys these things are great i've opened this one and put a few things in protectors already they have like a scratch resistant film on it that when you put the steelbook in you can peel off and they're great so thank you for these to my girlfriend bridget uh she knows me and she knows protecting my steelbooks is very important to me so thank you then uh the weekend of my birthday i had rj and i got this in the mail the day after my birthday that I had him and he ordered me something that was on my wish list from Amazon and um, it was cool I was really excited when I saw that it came with the slip cover because I was not expecting a slip with it um, when I saw it I like saw the side and I was like huh it has a slip cover and usually Amazon, you don't really get slip covers, but you guys will see why it's extra surprising because what RJ got for me is the original Valley Girl, the shot select release with Nicolas Cage and Deborah Foreman. 
um, with the slip cover there. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, like I said, did not expect to see a slip cover with my uh, title from Amazon. And then when I saw it was a shout release with the slip, I was pretty excited. So uh, as you guys know, I checked this out for the first time this year and I really enjoyed this movie. I enjoyed the remake of the film, although totally different, more of a musical with classic 80s film, whereas this took place in the 80s, was made in the 80s. It kind of has more of a grip on the 80s um, lifestyle, if you will. So I was so excited to see that RJ sent this my way um, for my birthday. It was very cool of him to pick that out. And then the last thing, which uh, is from Bridget, was not here when my birthday hit because it wasn't out yet. Um, but she gave me a box with a picture and said, it's coming. It should be here Tuesday. And on October 21st, I received a package from Best Buy that had this, the Back to the Future 35th anniversary 4K steelbook set. Uh, as you guys might know, I'm a bit of a Back to the Future fan. Uh, it's my second favorite film of all time behind Rounders. I love Back to the Future 2. 3, not so much, but to be fair, I haven't watched the third one in quite a long time. And I think perhaps the coolest thing about this set, I gotta be careful because I, the way this box is designed, um, doesn't really allow for protectors, but I'll show you why. So I'm trying to be extra careful. So the way the box is laid out, there are separators in there and the steel bolts do not rub against each other. Uh, there's a space once all three are in there, which is awesome. Um, but as a collector, as a fan, I'm torn because if you take the first steel book, which has Hill Valley there and it has the, the enchantment dance under the sea poster and it has Lorraine and George on there and it has the front of the DeLorean. Uh, the back artwork is amazing as well. Marty and Doc. There's a digital code that comes with this set that has all three movies in 4K. But there's inner artwork with different scenes from the film. It, it's just a great set. It is fantastic. Um, I was genuinely geeking out, but like I said, so you have that, the second movie, you have the middle of the car, you see Marty there, there's the Hill Valley thing with, which he sees in the beginning of the movie and he's flying, the police cars back there, uh, then on the back, of course the hoverboard being chased by Griff and his gang, the inside artwork has all sorts of pictures. Behind here is the Sports Almanac, of course. Um, but you guys will notice a trend that the steel books fit together um, to form. And then the third film shows the back end of the car. It has the old clock tower. Uh, the arrow that gets shot in the car, the Hill Valley Festival on the back, Marty doing his Clint Eastwood impression. You get a bonus disc. There's more inner artwork hidden under there. So you guys can kind of piece it together. And I'm going to try to do this without rubbing them or dropping them. It's going to be super tough. But basically, you get the DeLorean in all three phases of the movies put together. It, it's just tremendous artwork. I'm glad they took time with this release and came up with something really, really cool to do for it. Uh, the Back to the Future movies are very special, in my opinion, to a lot of people. I hope they never get remade, although I'm sure as soon as Robert Zemeckis is no longer with us, they'll remake it, sadly. But like I said, they sit in there. They don't touch because of the dividers in there. It's a brilliant idea for a steel book box set. Um, this was shipped via Best Buy. So there was a little bit of like dentation there, but 
Otherwise, the steelbooks are mint and everything showed up in fantastic shape. It looks like two does have a slight cut on the spine, but it's very minor. Um, but yes, this is an awesome set. Thank you very much to Bridget. She asked me like, what do you want for your birthday? And this was the, the top of my list. This was the set that I wanted the most. So that is the birthday haul, guys. We'll try to do a, um, the board game's not going in the tower. I'm going to shake the camera all around. But this is not necessarily a huge haul, but more like a, what did I get from my birthday? What, what did I get from that Target sale situation? And that is it, guys. So as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys don't do so already. It will be appreciated to get to our year-end goal of 2,500 subscribers to the channel. Also, leave comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of what I got for my birthday. Leave comments. Excuse me. Um, also, links down below in the description box to my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Blu-ray.com profile, Letterboxd, where I rate and review all the movies I watch, eBay page, Amazon wishlist, email address, P.O. box can all be found down below. And that is it. So as always, guys, until next time, who's down to movie?